Hello. This video I'll be going over my canoeing and paddling equipment for my Northern Forest Canoe Trail through paddle. So this video is going to emphasize on the canoe itself, the paddles, the paddle cart, portage cart that I'm using, and that kind of stuff. Mostly the stuff that goes in the canoe. And then I'll make a second video that goes over more of my clothing and my actual camping equipment. So if you're interested in watching that video, check the description below. So this is my wonderfully new 2020 North Star Northwind Solo Canoe in their blacklight material. The inside is a Kevlar, and then the outside is an actual carbon fiber. It's listed as 31 pounds. It came in on my scale as 29 and a half, which is fantastic. I did put a slightly forward canted seat in on those cherry hangers, so that way if I do want to go down into those kneeling pads that I put in there, this is just one of those inexpensive hardware store reusable zip tie like things and I'll show you what that looks like and why it's there. I'll be using two paddles for this trip. So the first one is a standard canoeing paddle. It's a ZRE carbon fiber ultralight paddle. They call it the recreational paddle because most of their paddles are for racing. And then the one I'll be using is uh, for like headwinds and to cover ground fast is this Bending Branches Angler Pro. This is carbon. So this one comes in two different sizes. This is the larger of the two. And the benefit of this paddle is that it can break down into two different pieces, like a lot of kayak style paddles. But the, the benefit of this one is that all of these different adjustments here, you can really fine tune it how you want it. You can extend the length or shorten it. And you can also choose what feathering you want. So if anybody is curious about the features of this paddle, this paddle could probably have its whole Video, so let me know in the comments below. This is a modified paddle cart. If anybody's interested in what I actually did to that to make it better, let me know. Crazy Creek Camp Canoe Chair 2. It's a Granite Gear Thwart Bag. These are just some tool straps in case somebody's gonna have to give me a shuttle ride or something like that, maybe just to get the boat up there. This is an Astral Ronnie PFD. And then this is an actual floating uh, rescue line. So I'll put all this stuff on the canoe so that you can actually see what it looks like on there as well as the paddle cart. Right, here we are. Everything's set up for wheeled portages at the moment, how it would be except for my actual gear. So the canoe itself is on the paddle cart. So you can see that it's using one of the car straps just to go around the base of that T there where it says paddle cart. Up over the top, putting the buckle someplace easy uh, to adjust it, and it does the same thing on the other side. So that reusable black bendy straw thing there is actually to help hold those paddles in place uh, including for overhead carries when I can't use the wheels and it does a really good job of keeping them in place without really putting any weight on them because I'm actually using a portage yoke that isn't attached to the canoe right now. Fort bag goes in right back there so I can turn around pretty easy and reach it and then for the guy lines it's just throwing a, a quick bowl in on those painter lines. So that, and most of the time they won't be tied like that I'll actually just use little elastics to keep them loosely coiled in case I have to get one out quicker. So here's my fishing equipment that I'm bringing. This is just a very small little tackle box of a mixture of all sorts of things. I won't go into full detail. This is a little pouch that I have that I use primarily for fly fishing stuff. Some um, forceps, snippers. Um, all my extra flies are in here as well as some tippet and all of my actual fishing licenses. This is the rod that I'm bringing. That's a Trailmaster made by Eagle Claw. It's a six piece rod that's actually dual purpose. It can be set up for either fly fishing or for spin fishing. And then because it can use both, I'm bringing uh, both setups. So this is my spinning reel. It's a Quantum 15. Reddington Zero, very, very lightweight. The rod and the line and the reel are all size four or five. So right now it's set up in the fly fishing setup. The rod itself is seven and a half feet long. And here we go, it's been converted into the spinning setup. So the actual butt of the cork grip and that top part both can unscrew so you can flip the grip around and then you can put it with a spinning, a spinning reel as well. This is my canoe repair kit and it also has repair stuff for my paddle cart. Um, I'll quickly go over what's in here. So the linch and the cotter pins here go specifically to the paddle cart. I actually purchased them from paddle cart. They're the exact same ones that it came with. Each side of the paddle cart's wheels has two of these washers. So 
there uh, basically there's two of these on the paddle cart, two of these, and then two of these per side, so four total. These are the bear the ball bearings that came with it. They're shielded instead of sealed, so I upgrade I did upgrade those. These are the originals, which I'm going to use as backups in case something breaks or gets lost. Some zip zip ties in here just for anything. Steel uh, cable here, wire rather, so that way I can do any kind of repairs that I need to with that. Basic repair tape here. This is a big roll of tenacious tape, more for clothing than anything else. And here is just a little bit of seat hardware for the canoe in case something gets lost. And then this is two things. So on the outside here, this clear tape is some really high quality um, marine grade 3M repair tape. And then this tube itself is actually marine epoxy. This is just a bicycle cable lock. And this is just a bailing sponge, plain and simple. Okay, well that about does it. That is all of my canoeing equipment. Uh, if you want to check out the video for my camping and um, other kinds of clothing type stuff, check out the video in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.